If you suspect voter fraud, you report that to the Florida Department of State. They investigate and potentially refer the case for prosecution. So the question is, did anyone report fraud in the August primary? As millions tuned into Tuesday's debate, President Donald Trump once again brought up the topic of election fraud. Well, I just heard, I read today, where at least 1% of the ballots for 2016 were invalidated. They, they take them, we don't like them, we don't like them. Democratic nominee and former Vice President Joe Biden calling Trump's claims unfounded. This is a horrible thing for our country. There is no, this is not, there is no this is evidence not going to end. So, is there any evidence of fraud in our elections? Are Floridians even filing such complaints? To begin digging into those questions, we turn to the office of Secretary of State Laura Lee. By law, the Florida Department of State conducts preliminary investigations into alleged voter fraud. On September 3rd, we requested copies of elections fraud complaints related to the August 2020 primary. For the past month, we followed up with calls and emails. Tonight, with the election just 33 days away, they're still processing our request. How concerned are you about fraud in November? One should always be cautious about the prospects for fraud. While cautious, USF professor of political science J. Edwin Benton says widespread fraud is highly unlikely. There's too many safeguards in place and too many people, too many eyes watching the process. It becomes a very, very remote possibility. So we're just running out of time to answer this question. Now, you did hear the president mention ballots being invalidated in 2016. Well, we know this happens in every election, but not necessarily for a nefarious reason. Our research shows in Florida, mail ballots are invalidated mostly because they arrive late or they have signature issues that are not cured in time.